Amber Heard defamation trial, and one that I think, frankly, hasn't gotten the attention it deserves, is the admission from the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, that the organization ghost wrote, meaning they wrote, for Amber Heard, the Washington Post op-ed that a jury just yesterday found defamed Johnny Depp. Now, they awarded ten-plus million dollars to Johnny Depp. We played on this show, recorded deposition by the ACLU's general counsel, shown earlier in the trial, where he admitted the organization wrote the piece, cleared it with Heard's lawyers, who scrubbed out any mention of Johnny Depp by name, and then timed its release, of course, to the opening of Heard's movie, Aquaman. But get this. Now, the same ACLU that wrote the piece that a jury has determined defamed Johnny Depp is asking for Depp to pay all its costs associated with their testimony in the case. Radar Online uncovered a legal motion where the ACLU said it believes Depp should pay them $86,000 for, quote, production expenses since three of its members were forced to testify in response to subpoenas from Depp's legal team. Depp's lawyers wanted records on the $3.5 million donation that Amber Heard had pledged to the ACLU when she got a divorce settlement. The ACLU fought the subpoenas. They lost. They filed the motion for payment before the verdict came out yesterday arguing Depp should reimburse the ACLU for the, quote, considerable expense spent responding to onerous subpoenas served by Mr. Depp from an underlying action in which neither the ACLU nor any of its employees are parties. Sort of a reminder that maybe they're lucky that they weren't a party and they weren't sued as part of the defamation case against Amber Heard. I mean, they wrote the op-ed. So my question is, do they actually have any shot of getting any or all of that $86,000. Joining me now is David Ring, civil trial a lawyer and specializes in sexual assault cases and civil litigation. He's been following the Depp Heard saga closely. David, thanks for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so does the ACLU have any shot of getting the, the money they claim they're owed? Let's hope not. I mean, come on. It's ironic, isn't it, that, that they, are, they wrote this article, uh, they put Amber Heard's name on it, and that's the, what caused her to now have to pay a $15 million judgment. I mean, the ACLU, it was a concerted effort with the ACLU and with Amber Heard to put this op-ed piece out there. And so for the ACLU to now come back and say, hey, gee, we were unfairly dragged into this litigation and we want $86,000 back, boy, that's just not going to, I don't think that's going to carry the day with, with this judge at all. Well, I mean, they were... They were part of this case. They deserve to be part of the case. And, and they're lucky they didn't get sued in the case. Well, let me ask you, how does it typically work where a witness is subpoenaed in connection with a civil case, right? Um, they have to come testify. There are expenses associated with that. Are they typically entitled to get that money back? They are not typically entitled to get that money back because, hey, if you're served with a subpoena, you show up. If you're asked for documents, you produce those documents. Now, if you choose to fight and fight and fight and not produce those things and you incur costs as a result, that's on you. That's not on the party who served the subpoena. You know, but ultimately here, look, the judge is going to have to look at this and say, what's fair here? You know, is it really fair for Johnny Depp to reimburse the ACLU $86,000? He might, he might give the AC, ACLU back a little bit of money. I don't think he's going to give them back $86,000. I have to say that, that I've been surprised that the ACLU hasn't taken more heat, and they've taken some, but in my view, not enough, for writing this article. I mean, now that there is a verdict, and now that a jury has come back and said, this article defamed Johnny Depp to the tune of, according to the jury, $15 million, in compensatory and punitive uh, damages, putting aside what the, the, the legal max is on that. But that's what the jury came back here. The ACLU wrote the article. And yet, you know, they're basically saying, whoa, hey, you know, we want to wipe our hands clean of this thing. I'm just, I remain surprised that they are not enduring more criticism across the board, including by people who, who donate to the ACLU. But look, if you're Amber Heard today, I, aren't you very upset at the ACLU who kind of dragged you into this whole thing? I mean, the testimony was that, that ACLU came up with the idea for her to write an op-ed piece. 
to put her name on it, that she would be an, a spokesperson and ambassador for the ACLU representing you know, victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. And they all timed this uh, to, to have it come out the day Aquaman was coming out that she was <laughs> starring in. And so, yeah, I mean, ACLU, their, their conduct is at best unseemly and at most unethical. I mean, it, it's, it's very surprising. And, and I think you have to dig deep into the trial. And a lot of people didn't, but, but I agree. Four of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage. Babe! What? I got